I think in general systems fail because people don't check their inputs that well. That's one of the most common ones, or the overload problem, where sort of you haven't taken into consideration that you will have more users or more data or more things that you normally do. So input validation, that's a good thing to focus on and focusing on building stuff that at least you know how well they scale. Well, it's important to deal with failures. I think the important thing is you have to realize that failure will always happen. And I mean, there's a reason that we aren't afraid of things happening all the time because we know that we have strategies and ways to deal with failure. So I think if we can focus a bit on sort of our tools that we use to deal with failure, we will be more secure that our, we will feel more secure and our systems will be more secure because we have ways in, to deal with failure. So it's more about focusing on dealing with failure than focusing on failure th themselves. I think they're both really bad. Like if you're being offensive, you're not really, you're not being responsible. And if you're being defensive, you're sort of, you're being too responsible, but it's not clear whether you are responsible. So they can lead to different problems in different cases. So I think in general, I would probably, probably prefer to have code that doesn't deal with failure than code that deals with failure in the, really, the wrong way, because it's so hard to analyze and see, okay, is this the right thing to do here? So it's, be, it's easier to look at something and say, okay, this doesn't work, than to look at something and say, does this really work? So I think, in general, I discourage people from, from, from doing sort of random error handling. They, error handling needs to be sort of thought out up front because your solution will completely depend on what types of failure you will, you will, you will face. So the most popular methods for failure prevention is, I think, in general, replication or distribution to deal with failures. And it depends on how you define dealing with failures. So I think there's a lot of try-catch blocks out there, but it's not necessarily the correct ones. So I think that the most common correct ones is probably distribution and replication to deal with failure.